Hi everyone, I'm really excited to talk to you today about our second Freefly Movi product. And so our first one we recently launched was the Movi Universal Dovetail, which uh, you know allows you to actually mount this on top of the Movi and slide it into uh, Ronin, any sort of Ronin standard uh, dovetail. So you can go under the M600 drone, for example, with your Movi, or you can use our new Movi mount with our Pro Ring and you can use it to mount your Movi onto a tripod. Uh, it's really a great thing. Now, we've had a product for the Ronin for quite a long time that we call the Pro Dovetail. And very simply put, the Movi is only so deep, right? Uh, whether it be the M5, the M15, or uh, the M10 like I have here. And so let's say you wanted to mount a much bigger camera on your gimbal. Um, case in point, maybe something like this, an Airy BL16. <laughs> uh, okay, well, maybe not that big, but if you do have a camera, and it could be a DSLR with simply a physically long lens, it doesn't have to be a heavier payload, but um, you know, very easy to illustrate so you only have so much room to adjust the, uh, to slide the camera back to adjust for a front heavy load. So if you have like a long zoom lens, for example, um, it's gonna be very front heavy. Or if you have a short PL lens, which is a little bit heavy, and then you have a lens motor and you might wanna be using a matte box with two filters in it, essentially you're gonna have something that's very front heavy. So in the past, what we've done is of course, you sort of jerry rig things, you put you start taping on stuff to the back of the camera. You try to, you, you sort of do what you can to make it work. So what we did for the Ronin is we made a slightly longer dovetail that has sort of a, a T-shape uh, in the back, which allows you to mount weights. So I'm very happy to announce that we are now making our Pro Dovetail line for all of the Freefly Movie products. So M5, M10, M15. And... Uh, so here it is, and um, basically, it's slightly longer than the factory, than the uh, factory um, Movi dovetail, but it retains all its features. So um, you still have the front holes in order to mount your uh, lens rods. So you can take the same uh, Freefly lens rod adapter and um, bolt it on the front of our dovetail. Um, we went with a slotted design for uh, the uh, tripod screws, but it does use the same um, countersunk uh, quarter 20 tripod screw. So uh, it's essentially the uh, same dovetail standard as you would get with a regular dovetail. Um, as you might see, I'll show you a comparison right now that uh, ours is slightly longer. We, at the moment, the long version is in stock and shipping. Um, we are working on a slightly smaller version for those of you who need a smaller dovetail and still want the ability to mount weights out the back. We're, so we're offering a long and a short version. And both of these long and short versions will fit both the M15 and the M10. Now, of course, the M5 is a different dovetail, so we'll be offering that as well. And for the M5, you know, it's been... The M5 has been a little underutilized in a lot of aspects and because it's relegated to a certain size camera package. It's very much alike the Ronin M. Um, because of its size, you're kind of kind of stuck with using it with much smaller cameras. So by using our counterweights, and we offer the counterweights in a two inch size and a one inch size. And so by using our counterweights, you just simply screw them on just thread them on really easily and you just spin them on and you can add more weight out the back. Um, and since they are T-shaped, you can mount the weights offset. So let's say, for example, you have uh, lens motors on the left side of the camera. You can mount our counterweights on the right side in the opposite side in the crisscross pattern, thereby equaling out all the weight that you're putting on the left side. So maybe you have a side mounted battery. So the camera is heavier on one side, so you can mount our counterweights on the other side, counteracting that so you don't have to slide 
uh, use up all your left to right um, on the carbon rods to just make up for that misbalance. You actually counterbalance that. You keep the camera in the center, which gives you easy, uh, more equal room on both sides of the camera to access it. Um, we do laser etch it with a little ruler mark so that you can replicate where, where it goes. Um, and on the M10 and the M15 um, Pro Dovetail, we do offer um, front mounting points also. Now the, and the front mounting points, um, I've actually used it on uh, cameras that are sort of larger in the back. And I actually need to slide the whole thing farther forward to give me more room in the back. So I add more weight in the, in the front, making it front heavy. And then I add additional weight in the back. And therefore, I can have the camera displaced forward, but still in balance, if that makes sense. Um, so there's lots of ways you can use these weights. The other way is I've actually put a GoPro on top of here. And now you say, oh, GoPro is too light for the M10 or the M15 even. Um, now this could be a Blackmagic pocket cinema camera. It could be an A7 even, which is a very lightweight camera if you have a lightweight lens on it. So what you can do is by screwing in the weights to the top, you then adding essentially like a dummy camera weight. So you can have a very lightweight camera on here like an A7 um, and then add extra weights on the top. And then because normally you have a too, too much of a lightweight camera, you have that uh, cross into the cradle all the way up and it's still not enough weight. Uh, it's just, you know, it's too top heavy essentially or, you know. So by adding the weight up top, you allow you, you can drop down on the, on the tilt arms and you can get a proper balance and you have more mass so that the gimbal works actually a little bit better. Sometimes not enough weight on the gimbal can, can, can be also be a problem. So you can use the weights on top, you can use the weights on the bottom, uh, left to right. Um, like I said, we have some front mounting positions. Um, and you know, the, the other interesting thing is that, um, you know, we still maintain, of course, the, uh, those little threaded holes in between the, um, the slots here. And that's if you have a camera with that only has one tie down screw, you can thread in a socket head and that gives you, uh, a, an additional pick point there. So the camera doesn't rotate, but, um, you know, so these are very versatile. It allows you to not have to jerry-rig counterweights onto your setup. You can simply put, put weights on, move them around, and uh, really expands what you can do with your M5, really expands what you can do with your M10. You can put much bigger setups on here than normally you would, uh, you would be able to. Um, for a more in-depth, walk through on how I, I go really detailed on you know how balancing works how you where how when you put the weights what does it do I have a, two other videos I made for the Ronin Pro Dovetail now it's mostly all theory and of course this works the same on the movie so you're more than welcome to check out those videos um, you'll, I'll put the links in on the product page there uh, they're a little long, but they're very detailed, and I think they'll, they'll, you'll find that they'll really help you get the most out of the Pro Dovetail. And um, I'm really excited about this because I've had so many Movi Freefly users um, say, oh, do you make that, do you, that part you make for the Ronin, do you make that for the Movi? Uh, we really need that, you know, especially, you know, the Freefly users, they tend to work in a more... Um, in a higher end projects and that means you know bigger Preston motors and bigger lenses and maybe filters and all that stuff that you put in the front of the camera including a heavier lens is all display you know you can all counteract that with the counter the counterweights that you put generally on the bottom you know and another sort of side uh, benefit lastly is the heavier the camera is the more especially the more top heavy the camera is right so say like the red epic the lens is like three inches off the bottom. And so the more top heavy it is, the further down on the tilt arms you, you, have, to, you have to go. And so it reaches a point where you run out of little carbon tube there and you just simply can't drop the camera down enough to get a proper tilt balance. So by adding weight to the back on the bottom, you're actually counteracting the top heaviness. 
allowing you to then slide that, that whole cradle back up. So it does two things. It gives you, it counteracts front weight, actually three things. It counteracts, if you can cross weight it, so it can counteract maybe a Preston motor you put on the front. And then it also gives you bottom weight to counteract top heaviness. So it has a lot of uses. Um, we'll, we will be coming out with um, more mounting points so that you can uh, put weights in the, in the pan axis, which as you add weight to the front, sometimes you slide this all the way back on the, on the pan axis and you still don't have a proper balance. So that'll allow you to the same way, just quickly spin on a weight and um, get your gimbal perfectly balanced. And so that's kind of the name of the game is no matter what camera package, what lens, what accessories you throw at us in prep, we will be able to get it balanced now because we have the pro dovetail and the counterweights. And the most importantly, it's in stock and it's shipping today. The short version is probably about a week away, but uh, should be there available soon. And shortly after we'll have the M5 uh, models. And uh, I mean, if you quickly look through all the different cameras that we can put on the Ronin M, which is about the same size of an, as an M5, using this counterbalance uh, setup, it's really amazing. So if you do have an M5, boy, is this the product for you because it's, it's finally going to allow you to use that gimbal a lot more. So I'm working on a lot of new things. Thanks for paying attention. Once again, we, you can continue to watch the... Ronin Pro Dovetail tutorial video, which goes in depth about how to use this product, but it's fairly straightforward. And you can see here, it just slides right on. Then you can take the counterweight and put, place it in any place that you need it. And uh, once again, it's available on our website right now, cinemill.com, or through many of our uh, authorized resellers. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, sales at cinemill.com. And... Um, I'll see you on set.